Good morning, friends. Today's lesson is an incredible story of courage, faith, and God's amazing power to perform miracles. In this story, we see a king who gave everyone living in the land of Babylon a choice. They could either bow down to a giant gold statue that he had made of himself, or they could choose not to bow down and they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. Well, most people chose to bow down to the giant statue, but there were three men who chose not to. Hmm, I wonder what happened to them. Let's take a look and see. Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. One day, Nebuchadnezzar made a tall gold statue. His official made an announcement for all the people of Babylon. When you hear music, you must fall down and worship this statue. Anyone who does not obey this rule will be thrown into a fiery furnace. So when the people heard music, they fell down and worshiped the gold statue like the king commanded. But not everyone bowed down and worshiped the statue. Three friends from Judah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, refused to bow down to a statue. Some men complained to King Nebuchadnezzar. You made a rule for all the people, they reminded the king. But some of the men from Judah do not bow down and worship your statue. This news made King Nebuchadnezzar angry. He called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Is it true that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold statue? He asked. If you do not bow down when you hear the music, I will throw you into a fiery furnace. Then what god could rescue you from my power? The three friends answered, King, the god we serve is able to rescue us from the fiery furnace. He can save us from you. But even if God chooses not to rescue us, we will not serve your gods. We will not bow down and worship the gold statue. King Nebuchadnezzar was even angrier. He made the fire even hotter and told some of his soldiers to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then the soldiers threw the friends into the fiery furnace. Suddenly, King Nebuchadnezzar jumped up. Didn't we tie up three men and throw them into the fire? Look, the king shouted. I see four men walking around in the fire. They aren't tied up, and the fourth man looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar quickly went to the door of the furnace. He called out, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire. They had not been burnt by the fire at all. Their clothes did not even smell like smoke. <gasps> Nebuchadnezzar praised God. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego sent an angel and rescued his servants. King Nebuchadnezzar made a new law for all the people. Anyone who says anything against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God will be punished. No other God can save people like this. Then the king gave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego important jobs in his kingdom. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire. Only he could rescue them. God rescues us too through his son, Jesus. Only Jesus can save us from our sin. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross provided the way for us to be rescued from sin and have eternal life. Wow, can you believe how brave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were? They stood up to the king and refused to worship the statue. They had big faith in a big God. Want to know how they had such big faith? It started when they were kids, just like you. 
They knew what the Bible said, that they were to worship the one and only true God. They also knew what God did for them, that he was the one who created them. When you read your Bible and you pray and you follow God, your faith will grow big and strong, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Are you guys ready? It's worship time. Stand up and let's get ready to worship. That the highest king would welcome me I was lost but he brought me in Oh his love for me Oh his love for me Who the sun sets free Oh is free indeed I'm a child Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. In my Father's house, there's a place.
story might be about? Tune in next week to see if you're right. Let us pray. Dear God, please give us the courage to stand up for what is right. Thank you for always standing with us. We love you and we praise you and all God's children said. Amen.